Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic which is on introduction to CC Linux Enterprise Server. And in this topic we will see a couple of things about CC Linux. Mainly we'll cover the introduction. I will cover what is CC Linux knowledge domains and we'll talk about Yast in brief. Okay, so let's get started with the key knowledge areas or knowledge domains of a SUSE Linux environment. So if we look at the different knowledge domains in SUSE Linux, so they are organized in this format. So there is software, there is storage, okay, then there is network. So these are some of the key areas that we are describing. Then we will be covering them in detail in each of our topics. Then we have users and permissions about the file system. We'll talk about the system integration. Okay, so these are the core areas. Okay, then you have something called the broader layer of it is you will be performing an installations. Okay, so we will talk about the installation that is how to download and install SUSE Linux. Okay, we'll talk about the hardware and the device drivers. Talk about process administration, shell concepts. Okay, and we will be looking at how we can monitor and administer. So we will talk about the administration aspect and the monitoring aspect. And we'll be covering shell scripts briefly. Okay, so these are the different knowledge areas that we will be covering in our trainings for SUSE Linux. Okay, so just to summarize, we will be looking into the installations, that is how to download and install a SUSE Linux hardware. Then we will see how we can manage and configure hardware and the device drivers. We'll see the different processes, how the process administration is done. Okay, the type of processes. We'll see the different shells. What is a shell and why we use different shells to manage and administer the environments. Then we will be looking at the administration and monitoring aspect of Sushi Linux, that is how we can monitor it, how we can administer it, how we can perform day-to-day -day administration work of it. Okay, we'll be looking into the different shell types, okay, like bond shell, con shell, C shell, etc. So we will be looking at the different shells. Okay, and internally we will talk about the storage administration the RPM packages. We'll look into how we can manage storage. We'll look at the different network commands, that is how we can check whether the system is up and running, how we can check whether your network is responding or not, how we can check the network traffic, how we can configure the IP address at network level. Okay, then we'll be looking at the different permissions, the file permissions, the directory permissions. We'll be seeing 
how to manage and administer the users in a Linux environment. We'll see the different file systems, how to check the space in the file systems, how to check whether the file system is working fine and the file system integrity check is is fine. Then we'll be looking at the system interaction, basically the interfaces, that is how this system can connect to other systems. We'll be covering briefly about some of the security aspects as well. So this is what we will be covering in our Linux training over the course of few days. That's all I wanted to cover. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.